Yesterday, I finished the backend for a service I'm building that lets you convert a YouTube video into a blog article. And the question was, what do I use for the front end that A saves me a lot of time and B looks criminally good. Then I saw that one of my favorite UI libraries had made a change just recently that makes it so much easier to work with. What changed in this UI library? And why is it so good now? And the answer is two things have changed. First off, there are new components in the library. So if we take a look at the components, we can see there's a new flag on some components. If you're not familiar with the UI library, it's ui.sharedcn.com, one of my by far favorite UI libraries for React or Next.js. Um, first one that's new is the alert. Let's quickly go through the new ones and then take a look at the definitely superior change that is new in this update that just recently came out. So first component that's new is a little alert, nothing huge, then a batch, very, very tiny change, then there's a calendar and this one's actually pretty cool. I'm very excited for this. This is a component we've previously used in open source projects and this just looks good, man. Just looks very clean. And then last thing that's new is a card component that you can toggle. And then just quickly, the last thing that's new is the skeleton. Now the skeleton is not a huge change anyways, because there are libraries that do this just as well, but it is cool to have all this together in one library. However, these new components are not what I'm so excited for. What I am so excited for is this right here. We can see there's a CLI to this component library now. And let me show you the full benefits of what this provides to us. We can copy this npx command that is provided to us right here. And then secondly, we can see there's another add command that we're gonna get to in a second. That is very, very cool. Let's copy this npx command and go into a brand new Next.js project and see what happens when we paste in that command for this UI library. Let me hit enter. And it's gonna take a second to load. And then it's gonna ask me, do I want to overwrite some files? Yeah, that's fine, because this is a brand new project, no issues with that. And it will do two things. First off, it will update the Tailwind config. We can see there are a lot of changes in here. And then secondly, it will provide us later when we add the components with a opinionated file structure, which I really enjoy. Then we see there's a new utility function, nothing huge has changed. And if we start up this page and take a look at what this looks like in the browser, as you can see, nothing much has changed. So what's up with the UI library? And now comes the really cool part. We can go to any component that we want added to our application. For example, let's say we like the calendar. What we can do, is copy the npx command, go into our command line, paste it, hit enter, and that's gonna ask us where we want to install this component. I'm gonna say dot slash components slash UI as already suggested by the command, and that's gonna create the complete component for us, ready to use in our application. All the dependencies that we need to use this have been installed for us, and in these components, in this component folder, the component has been created. Let's drag that into our source directory, and let's take a look at what's in here, and we can see the calendars in here. Now, this calendar relies on another component. Let's quickly install that, and it's the same thing. We can go to the component that we want installed, for example, the button, copy the npx command. Instead of copy pasting any code, we can just get the npx command, paste it in here. That's gonna ask us where we want to install that. I'm gonna say dot slash source slash components slash UI. Hit enter, and as you can see, that was very fast because it's just creating a single file. And now, if we restart the TypeScript server, we should be able to see that this dependency can, or this import can be resolved now. And the calendar is already to use. It has installed the complete component for us. And if you go into our page.tsx, let's take a look at what this component looks like. Let's render out the calendar that we can automatically import from the components hit save and then start up the dev server. It seems like there's a peer dependency missing that is date fns that we need to display the dates correctly. Let's quickly add that to our project, yarn add date fns and then see if the component is working. And here we are, looks beautiful and it works just perfectly. We can go back in the dates. Now this is not styled, so it might look a bit weird on this white background, but it is as easy as that getting a calendar into your app that looks great. How cool is that? And adding each component that is in here that is built on Redix UI and pre-styled for you is as easy as copying the npx command, pasting it into your command line, and then it's ready to be used across your whole application. How cool is that? I really enjoyed the change. I'll be very excited to hear what you think if you like this UI library as much as I do, and then I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.